Islamic Jihad is considered a terrorist organisation by the United States, Australia and the European Union, responsible for a string of attacks in the past 30 years. CNN's Ian Lee was given rare access to the group's military wing in Gaza. A tunnel opening somewhere in the Gaza Strip. Islamic Jihad militants guide us through. It's hot and humid, narrow and low hanging. It feels claustrophobic. As you can see, many of these tunnels are reinforced with concrete to protect them from caving in, but also from potential airstrikes. Israel has a different name for them, terror tunnels. We use them as a shield against heavy missiles fired by F-35 and F-16 aircraft, as well as helicopters, so that our fighters can move and play their role defending the Palestinian people. They've also proven effective for smuggling arms. Abdul Abdullah gives the fighters a pep talk. Then a recital from the Quran. It's the Islamic holy month of Ramadan. Today's movements are tightly controlled. Access for journalists is rare. They blindfold us, and we prepare to be driven on to the next location. Islamic Jihad is one part of the complex, faction-based society that is Gaza. It is smaller than Hamas, the militant group that runs the Strip. But late last month, Islamic Jihad triggered the biggest exchange of fire over Gaza for four years. Israel bombing 60 targets in response to about 100 rockets and mortars fired from launch sites like this one. So he's telling me this weapon system here has the range of about four to six kilometers. It was recently used against Israel. Abu Abdullah says the attack was revenge for the deaths of scores of Palestinian protesters killed by Israeli soldiers on the Gaza-Israel border. The world hears the conflict only through Netanyahu's voice. We try to make it hear us through the sound of these simple missiles. But one projectile hit a kindergarten in Israel. No one was hurt, but only because no one was around. I ask Abu Abdullah why they target Israeli civilians. The world needs to know that the resistance never plans to target children. He admits to me mistakes are made, and yet time and time again they fire rockets indiscriminately. The U.S., Israel and European Union designate Islamic Jihad, just like Hamas, a terrorist organization. The group has few friends abroad, but it's not totally isolated. Israel is proud of its support from the United States, and we are proud of Iran's support of the Palestinian resistance on the moral and logistical level. Gaza's tragedy can be described in a host of different ways. Having militant groups in charge committed to Israel's destruction is just one of many.